Hi viewers, today I'm going to teach you how to create a simple countdown timer in PowerPoint. So this is the view. It goes for 10 seconds and then it says done then stops here so this is the animation we are going to do in PowerPoint okay let's start I'm deleting it and let's create the um, animation mode for the animation what we need is suppose we are going to create a 10 seconds countdown timer you have to create 10 numbers so for that actually I'm going to use the insert you can insert word out I'm going to use this one if it is not bright enough you can even use other things but for now I'm going to use um, this one somewhat brighter so what I'm going to do is the number going to start from 10 so I'm going to type 10 here okay now we need to animate it so we are going to add the animation so the first animation will be zoom in <clears throat> so for zoom we go into the animation pane we have to select and see whether it has been set to 0.5 seconds because it just shows 10 now and it will hide the 10 so totally we have to do two things in a second so what I'm going to add is I'm going to add another part here another animation that's going to zoom out that is the exit zoom so we have to be very careful here so start not start from the clip so it's not, it has to be start after previous and this has to be start after the previous so what happens is we are playing it here so it shows and hides 10 in a second okay this is the basic template for a number now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it and then we are loading done okay all the numbers are done now Technically what happens is if you are playing from the top, it means the 10, 9, 8, 7, but the placement is wrong. So however the animation runs, what we need to do now is that we need to align everything to the same place. So for that, you need to select everything and then go to the shape format, align, align center, align middle. So everything will be aligned. Now, if you are ordering everything in the middle, if you are moving everything in the middle, you can simply see the animation nicely. One, done. So what happens is, with the done, actually it is also getting hidden. It also, uh, it gets hidden. So what I need to do is I need to remove the last part to this animation so say for example um, if you are playing it again say for example in 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then done so that's it guys it's very simple to do uh, the good thing is that actually you can select everything and you can change the font here so suppose if you look for any um, thick font or anything like that I'm, I'm generally, I generally like lato font so lato black so even I can increase the font size maybe a large size then after selecting everything I'm moving it in the center so if you're running it again it look great This can be used for 
many purposes like quiz programs or question answer session or anything like that if you like this video please like share and comment thank you guys